New at 11, the nation's second largest pharmacy, Walgreens, plans to close up some stores. Now, this comes on the heels of Rite Aid making the same move. So what does this mean for your prescriptions? CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey is on your block in Southfield with some answers. It's yet another hit to the pharmacy industry, first Rite Aid and now Walgreens. Now, many of these closures are reportedly spurred by low profits when filling prescriptions. And then there's the addition of telehealth. And overall, it creates several issues. What goes through your head? Panic. <laughs> That's how Kristen Kessler reacted when I asked what if her Walgreens closes. For decades, she's chosen their pharmacy. While the company didn't specify which stores will close, it leaves the question, should she switch her prescriptions now? I wouldn't go to the telehealth because uh, you have to worry about whether or not it's going to get delivered to the correct address or whether shipping is going to get delayed. While telehealth operations like Amazon and GoodRx seem to thrive, it's the drugstore chains taking a downward fall. If they built those drugstores and corners expecting daily $10,000-$15,000 a day in sales from over-the-counter, let alone prescriptions. That, you know, that hasn't happened for a long time. Dr. Sahuba owns over 20 pharmacies in the area. He says while he isn't too worried about the metro area having difficulties accessing medicine, he's concerned about the rural areas. Smaller towns and villages all over, you know, Midwest or all over the U.S. And I know in Michigan, it's, uh, there's at least 10 cities, 10 villages that, are, that only have a right aid. According to Dr. Sahuba, the pharmacy industry is in a bit of crisis because without pharmacies, there's a declining need for pharmacists. With hundreds of closures, that means hundreds out of work. So that, that effect is there for sure, 100%. There's at least two, 300 pharmacists in Michigan who would be, love to get a full-time job today. For customers like Kristen, she likes the proximity of her store, but with the potential closures, she's unsure how far she'd be willing to go. That leaves CVS or leaves the pharmacies in some of the chain stores like Target, Meyer. Walgreens didn't announce a specific number of store closures. They say they'll focus on stores that are not profitable, too close to each other, or struggling with shoplifting issues. Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit.